yogurt around five penguins. We've got four different types, all from the outside. In the corner, on the left hand side, we've got some little penguins called rock hoppers. Rock hoppers are the smallest penguins they have, but not babies, they're just small penguins. And they've got little tops coming out of their heads. They like to be up in the top rocks when they're next to it. The biggest penguin we have is called the king penguin. Quite a few in front of us now, these big ones uh, with the orange on their head and chest. They don't go up in the rocks, they're always on the bottom. And even when they're nesting, they're just laying out at the feet. They don't build a nest. Then we've got the gentoos. The gentoos come in the water there. The gentoos is the one with the white patch on either side of its eye. They nest in the middle rocks, there's quite a lot of the middle rocks as well. Have we got a diver in the water somewhere? And see where the gill is in there. All the divers are in there cleaning. And we've got one more penguin called the chin strap. Now we don't have a lot of chin straps. They've got like a black line under their chin. Can't see any, but I will show you them. When I see one. On the roof we've got special machines, we've got the snow machines, we've got six of them and you can see the snow falling down there. We have snow 24 hours a day, around about 12 tons of snow a day, it's all white snow. Penguins use that to what drink? They crash the snow and that is their drinking water. Can't drink the water where they swim, that comes from the sea. We also have a special lighting system, it's all computerised, so depending on the time of day and the season, the lights will come and go. So if it's summer, winter, spring, and also if it's morning, noon or night, so the lights will come and go. It's the end of winter now, so the lights are going up a little bit. A few weeks ago it was quite dark in there, so we're beginning to get a bit lighter. We're coming up to the breeding season, they start breeding, breeding about the end of September, October. They nest up the rocks and when they're breathing, we give them nesting materials so they can build a nest. If you want to see the baby penguins, you're best to come in January. That's when we've got the babies in January. Also on the roof we've got a computerised lighting system. It's all computerised and also the air filtration. The air filtration is connected as well, which means we've got fresh air going in there all the time. We've got um, a temperature of about minus one degree. Keep your filter to keep it clean. Got to make sure everything is done. There's our driver. So he's down there. He's throwing away. So he's got a covered brush. Everything gets clean constantly. One thing the owner is very strict about is cleansing. Everything's got to be kept very clean. So you'll quite often see divers in the aquarium and the penguins cleaning with a brush. It's got to keep that. It's got those. Imagine having that as a job. We feed the penguins oily fish from the North Sea, fish like the mackerel, herring. And the fish is in trays just behind the rocks at the back there. You can quite often look behind the white rocks there. We've got trays of fish. So the penguins quite often come along and help themselves. We change the fish every two hours. Make sure it's fresh fish for them. Yeah, you can see quite a few penguins just there eating the fish. They're all eating the fish now. See the one that just won't let him clean without nipping at his foot. Yeah. The one won't let him clean without nipping at his foot. Oh yeah, they like to play and they like to play with it. Whenever we've got lions in the bar, they're all penguins want to play. Don't make up my purple where my room was running at home. Don't make up my purple where my room was running at home. Some of them have got ribbons on. The ribbon is for a reason, the coloured ribbon. And it's so the keepers can find them. If you want to find a certain penguin, you put a coloured ribbon on it. Just here we've got some of the chain straps. Do you remember I said we don't have very many? Well, there's two there on the rock. Oh, there's four all together there chin straps, they've got a black line under the chin on the rock there on the right hand side. Yeah, we've only got about 12 of them, we haven't got so many. All that water that you see in there comes from the sea originally. 
it all cleans out before it goes in here, and then we've got to keep it clean, so it goes through the big filtration system down to the wall. And normally, as I say, we go down there, but it's, it's, it's okay with you, but it's kind of here. I'll show you the picture. But then, look at it. The filtration of the water, it goes down below and it goes through all these big um, filters down below. It gets cleaned out, gets cooled out, and then every 20 minutes, it goes through that door and back up. So they've got a complete change of door every 20 minutes. If anybody wants to go down, I don't mind going down, I've got time. I wasn't sure about the time, but we do have time if you want. Are those the points up in the Next, this is Andy.